Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a daily slash weekly vlog in a while, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to go to the gym. I just had my morning coffee. I actually unboxed a few PR parcels. And today I just have lots of meetings, lots of phone meetings, and then I'm actually getting a lash lift, which I've never got before. So I'm very keen to see what it looks like because um, my natural lashes are actually really, really long, if you can see, um, but they're really straight. So I'm really excited to see what they look like after I do that. Um, I'm wearing this white fox long sleeve top. I've literally been living in these. I have them in every color. I wear them to death. I wear them to the gym. I wear them with jeans. I just wear them all the time. They're super soft, super comfy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through my week. Let's go. Wow, you guys are literally leaning on my kettle. I just got home from the gym. So I'm going to make some breakfast slash lunch. It's like 11 o'clock, so it's a bit too late for breakfast, a little bit too early for lunch. But before I went to the gym, I had some rice cakes with peanut butter, so I'm just gonna make what I had for dinner last night for like an early lunch, I guess, and then I'll probably have a protein smoothie around two o'clock or something like that. So last night I had for dinner steak, sweet potato mash, and broccoli. So I'm literally going to have that right now, even though I really don't feel like it, but it's just what's going to be really quick and easy because I have lots of meetings today. Um, I'm also really trying to focus on um, keeping my protein intake, intake high because my new program is honestly cooked, but I'm so ready for the booty gains. Today's a fun day. Tamika and I are shooting content and then we're going to go op shopping. <laughs> we haven't been op shopping. When did we last go op shopping? Second half. Wow. Okay, years ago. This is before we even worked together. And I feel like <laughs> with like the trends that are going on at the moment, it's kind of like I feel like I'm gonna find a lot of good stuff. But I'm gonna show you guys some new White Fox pieces that I picked up because I'm obsessed and I know you guys love my White Fox hauls. Okay, guys, I'm obsessed with everything I got. Look how this corset fits. This is the Living Large top but i feel like with the little slits here and then like the whatever that's called it's really flattering i've got this stun little maxi skirt it's called the walk behind me skirt oh my god this is a really nice fit i feel like this could be worn like really casual or dressed up as well so it's kind of like super versatile i got a size small in all of these by the way guys and i will have you know which you guys already know my discount code is MXO. Okay, now this top, it's called the All For One Ribbed Top. I actually don't have many ribbed tops that are like the really thin sort of like, um, I don't know the word, like vintagey looking. I don't know, what would you call that makes? Like the raw, raw hem, raw hem edge, whatever you want to call it. I really like the look of it at the moment. I also feel like um, bras underneath singlets are coming back in fashion like where you can see it so i'm probably gonna do that at some point and then we've got another black maxi skirt and this is called the invites only skirt it's stunning i actually really like it and you can wear it low-waisted too so on the model online she's actually wearing like the matching black top with it i mean i'm really blue <laughs> bloated right now so i don't really want to wear it low-waisted but i feel like with a cute little belt and a longer top it's a vibe you know you guys know i literally live in with the jackets so best believe i got a new one this is called the seal the deal biker jacket i actually feel like this is a really cute outfit together too like off the shoulder vibe chuck it on with like some doc martens or like yeah just any sort of boot I feel like will be sick. Or you could probably dress this up and wear some little heelys with it. But it's a really soft leather too. Well, it's not real leather, but it's a really soft pleather and I love it. Okay, this is the same rib top that I was wearing before, but these are the check this out shorts. I actually got these because I just wanted something really like oversized and comfy to wear around the house. 
Um, these are a size medium, so I went up a size just because I wanted them to be really big and baggy. They're like a really thick sort of basketball material, airflowy type thing. They're double lined and then they've got the big elastic waistband too. It's a vibe. I'll probably end up wearing these to like the office in summer, probably with a bikini top and slides because that's what I do in the office. But they're really cute and they're super comfy and I love them. Okay, next up we have this bolero. I don't know how to say it. I'm butchering it. I already know that. It's called the All The Stars Lero and then Watch Your Back Cargos. They're really cute. I feel like it's a cute outfit. This is the same rib singlet that I had on before. Kind of just goes with everything. It's a bit of an essential at this point, guys. And I feel like with my discount go code, it's a fucking bargain, honestly. But you can't go wrong with a pair of cargos. They're like a really, really soft matte material as well. And then they have like the silver... Um, detailing and hardware and they're a perfect length I really like them so I will be getting a lot of use out of these also these I'm not even gonna try and pronounce what these are called again but I wear these all the time like uh, to the gym and stuff like that when I can't be bothered like wearing an actual jumper because I know I'm just gonna get sweaty straight away and take it off so I'll be getting a lot of use out of this one it's called a shrug <laughs> Tamika's just informed me it's called a shrug. Why do I think it's a bolero? I don't know, but it's called a shrug. Can you guys comment shoulder. down below what it's called? Shoulder hug, you know? Maybe this is different to a bolero. Maybe the bolero is the ones that like really stay up. I don't fucking know, but <laughs> someone in the comments, please end this discussion for me. <laughs> I thought I'd chuck the biker jacket back on guys and just so show you this because I feel like this biker jacket is a really good fit and it seems to be going with everything. So again, I've just got the rib singer on and the cargoes, but I feel like this is a fucking vibe. And like, watch this. Watch me level this fit up. Oh shit, with these. I feel like. Trick is laughing at me. <laughs> I can't even really show you properly full length. Like Toyota jump. She said Toyota jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, this is my favorite. I saved it to last because I'm gonna go and take a picture in it because I love it. It is the end of night tank and stole the show mini skirt. I'm obsessed. I feel like I'll wear this skirt a lot. I've been wearing mini skirts like this a lot lately. I'm wearing a size small. Honestly, I probably could have gone up a size, but that's because I like stuff being quite oversized. So if, like I'd, I'd recommend you just getting your usual size because it fits really nice still. Um, and the tank is just like a really good basic. Like I feel like I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of this. This actually has on the website as well, this top actually has a matching maxi skirt, which I did get, but um, I'm not wearing it right now, but I love it. And and I've just styled it with some black leather boots and then a black belt and a necklace. We love it. I actually have a few more pieces, but I'm not going to show you them all on, but I might even just give you a little run through of the other pieces that I got because they're fucking actually really, really stunning and I love them. This is one of my favorite White Fox hauls. Me and Meeks were just saying on the way here. Level up. Huh? Level up. Yeah. Me and Meeks were just saying on the way here that this is like some of the favorite, our most favorite stuff that we've ever got from White Fox. Um, so I'm going to show you some more of them right now. So we've got this gorge little white bra, which it's very see-through, but like I feel like it's stunning. Like wearing underneath something, stunning. And then we've got this leotard, which actually has like arm sleeves and it has a big cutout in the chest. And it's actually a very similar fabric to the one that I'm wearing right now. As you guys can tell, I've got a lot of black here. I love black. And then we've got this like boned sort of corset vibe, but it's got like mesh sleeves and then a joiner at the back. And then we have another bolero or shrug, whatever you want to call it, because I do love them. And then we've got just another like basic staple tank here. And then this looks fucking stunning i love the color like i love that color it's just like a boned um boob tube corset sort of thing 
and then another black long sleeve i actually took a photo in this today at some point i really like that and then we've got a little loungy set which will be really good just for like wearing it around the house and stuff like that and then i actually got this one for bali so that's why i didn't put it on in my haul because i knew i'd dirty it because what am i like when i take clothes off um <laughs> This is what she's like when she takes clothes off. This is what I do. I dirty them all the time without realizing. So I'm literally putting this away for Bali and not wearing it until I go. And then I got this little cute baby tee. And then this is like a little matching set. It's actually the same style as the top that I'm wearing right now. We love it. Anyways, let's go op shopping. Have fun. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, that sun is so bright. And I'm currently driving Joel's car. Well, Joel, one of Joel's work cars because my car's getting serviced and I've got no sunnies in here. Guys, I thought, I just finished PT by the way. Um, I thought I would give you a little hormone update. Um, also, how cute is this tracksuit from White Fox? Discount code is MXO. Um, I thought I'd give you a little hormone update because I haven't done that in a while and I actually have my period back. I've had my period, so I got my first, you, whoever's an OG follower, you will know that I've struggled getting my period for a long, long, long time. And I finally got it back and I think it's because, um, I'm just happier and not depressed <laughs> and um also i think eating a lot of food has something to do with it as well um because i eat a lot of food so i reckon that helps um because i definitely have more body fat on me than i used to um but basically i got my first period back in january and then i didn't get another period until three months ago and from three months ago i've had a period every month and like they're a little bit sometimes they're delayed sometimes they're way lighter and don't go for as long but the main thing is i've got a period back again and it it's fucking amazing except you know what i'm experiencing now pms symptoms i've actually never experienced pms symptoms before and now i do so like this is the week before i'm meant to get my period right now and i am so hungry like i've been eating so much fucking food especially at night time like last night i had my dinner which was like i made like a homemade like curry laksa soup and then i got grilled after and then i had dessert too like i'm just so hungry and i'm like so like i'm holding a lot of water i'm bloated i'm just like that's how i feel but i'm so happy because it means that you know i'm ovulating and I have a period again and it's so good and my skin's clearing up and it's just really good really really good anyways i'm going to get breakfast now i'm fucking starving we're going to this cafe called perth p-e-a-r-t-h it's one of mine and tamika's favorite breakfast spots it's all um organic ingredients everything's gluten-free and dairy-free and they do this one dish and it's like gluten-free toast with like all these mushrooms and like vegan aioli and eggs and it's fucking so yummy anyways i'll speak to you guys soon guys i just had a thought on the drive here as well i thought i would tell you some things that i personally think helped me get my period back so i have pcos um which i think is from being on the pill personally but like i am no doctor so please take that with a grain of salt and don't take anything I say right now as proper medical advice because this is just my experience. Um, I think the things that helped were the right supplementation. So you need to get someone who, like a functional doctor or someone that knows what they're doing. Mandy has helped me so much. Um, to get you on the right supplements for your hormones, get your hormones tested properly um do lots of blood work so i was really deficient in all my b vitamins my magnesium um zinc iron ferritin so many things um and i did find that once i sort of started taking those supplements my energy levels everything just changed so much um 
another thing that I think helps me a lot was eating a lot more protein and carbs. Your body needs carbs and protein for energy. So, um, I think that I was always just really depleted. Um, like I was always eating carbs and protein, but not enough. I don't think. Um, so now I make sure I have like every, like I eat generally about five meals a day, a day now, not including snacks. Um, and I will make sure that they have like a big variety of balanced proteins, fats, and carbs. And I think upping your fats as well is key to hormone health. Um, making sure that you rest. Like, I feel like I had somewhat adrenal fatigue or was close to it. So I do a lot of things now that I know help me rest. Like, I will try and stay off social media after 8 o'clock. I'll make sure I get, like, at least 7 hours sleep a night. Um, and I'll use, like, the blue light glasses. I'll put the night, mo night mode on on my phone. Um, I also think traveling a lot less has helped me get my period back too. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a few things. And then there's certain foods as well that help you sort of get your hormones balanced, depending on where your levels are at. For me, I had really elevated androgens, which is like your testosterone and all that sort of stuff. So I had to eat specific foods based on that. So I definitely recommend getting like your full blood work done and your hormone tests. Um, I did see a naturopath for years and honestly it didn't help me, but that's just my experience. Um, Mandy has been the only person to truly, truly help me. But coming off the pill was the best thing I ever did. I know that it's scary at the start because, oh my fucking God, my skin guys, like... I'm going to show you a photo of what my skin looked like. I have a folder on my phone and it's in the hidden folder. Um, and it might not be really bad for some, but for me it was fucking horrific. Like I've always had pretty good skin. So, uh, dealing with this was traumatizing and I know for some it's not that bad. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, like I know that I'm probably going to get a lot of people saying to me, your skin wasn't even bad and stuff like that, but that's just my experience and it was bad for me. So don't come for me. Um, and yeah, once you get through that period coming off the pill, I guarantee you, you'll feel so much better. And I'm not trying to influence anyone to get off the pill because everyone's experience is different and stuff like that. But it did cause me a lot of hormonal issues and I wish that I did it sooner. I actually wish that I never went on the pill to start with. Um, I was on Yaz for 10 years. So yeah, I thought I would update you guys. Um... And yeah, my main thing is that I really think helped me get my period back was getting all my blood work done, not just my hormones, but like all of my vitamins and my minerals because that fucking helped me so much. Anyways, I'm going to go and eat breakfast now. I'm fucking starving. Yum. Good for us. This is the best. What's in it again? Um, well, we've got gluten-free toast, mushrooms, oh. savory granola, poached egg, Yum. pesto salad, herb mushrooms. I reckon you could make this. Oh, yes. Oops. What have you got, Libby? It's a Pokeball. Oh. oh, my God. That's it's fake like salmon. Oh, my God. Fake salmon, egg, uh, mushroom. I don't know. <gasps> Uh, oh no, it's, that's miso, um, miso eggplant. Oh, that's what it was. Look how yeah. pretty it is. It is fancy. Fancy pants. Say hello to the vlog. Hello to the vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. We're going to Sydney. Wait, we're in Sydney. We're going to Hunter Valley. We're in Sydney. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> Hi guys, I forgot to close this vlog, but I am back from Sydney now and I hope you enjoyed this random little life update slash haul slash whatever that was. Let me know if you guys want to see more of them. Okay, love you.